Morning everybody. Welcome back to my little corner. I wouldn't class it as a rant, but um, today. But I'm going to talk about the debacle that's going on with the French and the fishing. Um, before I get into that, uh, I'd like to give out uh, a shout to a new auditor out there who is absolutely getting things right. Um, Buzztex Audit. If you like your auditors, well worth a watch. Um, yeah, he, he, he says he's new, but he comes across as very, very professional. Um, Gypsy Order at UK. Nice to see your subs going back up, mate. They do go up and down. Don't worry about it. Mine go up and down like oars draws all the time. If people like what you do, they will come back. Don't worry, buddy. Or it could even be a shadow band by YouTube. That has happened to many people. Right, the French. And now, as a background um, to this, up until 20 years ago, I did work in the fishing industry in Cornwall. And I still am an avid shore fisherman. I enjoy my sea fishing. And over the years, I have seen stocks decline to the point where we've even, and it is self-regulated, um, we've even had to have a season put in for certain fish and certain fish we're not allowed to keep simply because of the overfishing. Now, this isn't being overfished by our boats. The fishing that um, destroys it or has destroyed it, and I have seen it, are the French, Spanish, etc., in our waters. Now, France seems to think that we're still part of the EU and they can command what they want from us. You're wrong, guys. <laughs> Until we say you can fish in our waters, you keep the hell out of them, mate. You have decimated your own. You've absolutely destroyed your own fishing grounds. And you've been doing the same to ours for years. And me, for one, have had a bloody enough of it. Our fishing industry has been absolutely destroyed by the French, the Spanish... Um, even to the point where we have to have a season now um, where shore anglers like myself can't keep bass. Um, we've even introduced um, nursery areas where it, it, you shouldn't fish for them, um, along with other species. Now, we're not in the EU anymore. So why do you think you can just do whatever the hell you want in our waters? As for blockading ports, well, you've done that for years, haven't you? Even in your own territory. But my biggest problem with this is the threats to cut off electricity to some of our islands and even to us as a mainland. you're looking for war you know I mean yeah Boris if you <laughs> you probably wouldn't watch this anyway but why are we buying our electricity from them you're putting money into their economy instead of into ours to the French you cut off the electricity how much is your economy going to suffer? Because our idiots in power aren't paying you. See where I'm going with this? You're cutting your own throats. And it was reported in mainstream media and other sources that we've sent two naval vessels down there to um, Jersey to sort out your blockade. Personally, I think they should impound your boats. 
you're in waters you're not entitled to be in. You're fishing for fish you're not entitled to have. What gives you the right? Yeah, there's rules in place. Absolutely outrageous. Really. And I mean, Boris, you. <laughs> you absolute shit weasel. By 2035, you want the new green initiative. You want all houses to have this heat fan, heat whatever it is, which is all electrically fired. Yet we haven't got the infrastructure to use it. I've been through this on another video, so I won't go through it all. But, uh, no, the, the French, they... I don't know why they seem to think they're better than everybody else and they're entitled to everything that they ask for. Let me tell you, you're not. To me, in my opinion, you're just an insignificant little country that's part of a bigger country that are all corrupt. Not that our government isn't corrupt as well. But keep your asses your side of the channel. If you manage your fishing grounds, your stocks would still be there. But you don't. You take anything and everything. I've been out on the sea. I've seen the factory ships. And how much this decimates our waters. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, so we've only got two naval ships down there. How many have we got? How many did this government pay for? Or are you just sending them all overseas to wars that shouldn't really uh, involve us? We pay for the Navy. We pay for the services. Are we getting what we're paying for? Not from my view. Paying the French for electricity. We paid them to stop the illegals coming across the channel. They're still coming. You ain't doing anything about that. Yet we paid over 120 million for you to stop it. If you want our money, earn it. At the moment, you're not. Anyway, that's just my view on that, being an ex-fisherman. Um, I find it amazing that these fishing wars are still going on. Personally, I'd kick them all out of our waters. Because they don't appreciate anything that they get given. They never have. It's uh, ridiculous. But uh, Anyway, I'll leave it there for now, people. Try to keep it short, being as it's the weekend. People have probably got things to do. Um, hope you enjoyed the last video, as I said in it, it might not be to everybody's taste, um, but I did say right at the beginning when I started my channel, I, I will be putting videos up now and again of some of my hobbies, and next month, um, hopefully there will be some sea fishing videos um, that I will do while we're on holiday, as it's another sport that both me and my partner can both enjoy. Um you, know, you don't have to watch if you don't want to if it's something you're not interested in that's, that's cool I realise never you know everybody's not into the same things but um, I enjoy making them so anyway until the next time people as always stay safe Stay strong, stay free. My respects to you all. Oh, and just before I go, um, I'd like to welcome some more subs there. I've only got the notification of one name, uh, Elvis. Big respect, mate. Um, I presume you're the one I met up the shooting range um, the other day. Very nice to have met you, my friend. If it's not you, it was nice to meet you anyway. Make yourself known in the chat if you want to. And anybody that wants to comment on any of my videos or anything I talk about but doesn't want it in public, 
Um, there is a channel email. There is a channel WhatsApp for messages and clips. Um, I always put them in the description below. So you're more than welcome to contact me personally, as many do. So, like I say, until the next time, be safe, people. My respects and my regards to you all. And thank you again for watching.